I'm Ben Rittering. I design and build custom furniture. This tool helps me to perform high quality woodworking processes in my small shop without all the heavy machinery. And the great thing about it is then you throw it in the back of your truck and off you go to the, the work site. And I'd like to see you do that with the, with the sliding table saw. Hi, I'm Ernie Conover with today's turning tip. A faceplate or a chuck stuck on a lathe spindle is a common problem. It usually happens because you didn't run the chuck quite all the way home. It's, it's like an eighth turn shy of being tight. When you turn on the lathe, it slams home and it takes a lot of force to break it loose again. Let's look at some tricks to overcoming this problem. First, you need to lock the spindle. In some lathes, you simply push a button and it locks the spindle. In others, you have to stick a bar through holes in the spindle. In still others, you put a wrench on the other end of the spindle. However you do it, you have to get the spindle locked. Some face plates have flats that allow you to put a spanner wrench on the faceplate, and this is the best of all solutions. You can then pull on this uh, with just brute force if that won't break it loose. Giving it a smart wrap with a hammer will overcome that frozen thread and it will come right off. If you happen to have a round faceplate that doesn't have anywhere to get a spanner wrench on it, a good trick is to keep a punch on your lathe and put that on one of the screws right here and just give that a sharp wrap with a hammer and this comes right off. A stuck chuck presents the same problems and often there's a little tomming bar that fits into a hole in the back of the chuck. Uh, sometimes there is also a hex for a wrench which is the best of possible worlds. But the little tommy bar is often so small that if you hit this with a hammer, you just bend it. So the real solution is to take a good stout pry bar and simply open up the jaws enough, like so, that you can then bring this, the jaws right down on the tommy bar, like so. And you can now put some pressure on that and give that a smack with a hammer and the chuck will come right off. The big thing is screw the chuck on all the way so that this doesn't happen.